Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And you might have heard of Kiribus, but this is Kirigu. Let's go and check it out. The name Kirigu is derived from Celtic, meaning rock crest. Looking at the castle, it's quite clear to see why they chose that name. Located at a whopping 1200 meters above sea level, the castle is located right at the edge of the highest mountains in the Pyrenees. From here, it had a commanding position guarding the mountain pass. It was built somewhere in the 12th century, with its first mention being in 1209, when it was donated to the Count of Foix. It survived the Albigensian Crusade unscathed, as far as we can recall from the sources. The next centuries would prove far more eventful, however. From the 15th until the end of the 17th century, the castle was repeatedly besieged by the Spaniards. They tried in 1495, but were repulsed. A century later, they did manage to capture and burn the castle. The French king decided to restore Kirigu in 1607, just for the Spanish to burn it down once again in 1676. A few years later, a new fort was constructed a few kilometers south, rendering the castle useless. Despite the castle being much larger in the past, all we see today are the remains of its donjon or keep. It's not the military architecture that blew us away here, but rather the views over the hills and mountains. And also the wind itself. Dang, was it a breezy day! Another stunning location. Let's continue on with the arbitrary subjective castle score. I'm going to say a five. It's just a donjon. Still impressive, I suppose. What do you say? Yeah, also a five. It's just a donjon. And it was very, very windy. Yeah. Cap still on. We'll see you next time. We were the History Hikers. Thank you so much for watching. And like, comment, subscribe, and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles. Until next time. Bye. Bye.